Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Girl Gaming. Today we are going to be playing some Ascendancy and holy shit, there is a dingo in my backyard. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Oz Nominator. Am I saying that right? Yeah, close enough. Yeah, yeah good. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, people struggle with my name as well, so you know. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're going to be checking out the uh, 0.95 release of Ascendancy, which was, was it released uh, sometime during the week, wasn't it? Yeah, something like that, I think. Yeah, and in order to do that, I think what we're planning to do is have one of us play as uh, the Filthy Rebellion and the other one as the Majestic Empire. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going to do a multiplayer match and just see how it goes. So uh, I think I'm hosting this one, aren't I? Yes. Okay, do we want a big map or a small map? Uh, do you have a fairly big one? Yeah, that sounds good. How do you feel about Unified Front? That sounds uh, good. It's got, ooh, it's got 128 planets there, that's quite a few. Oh, yeah. I'll have a look at the medium maps. We've got a backwater with 80... F yeah. Outer Rim, uh, 84 planets. How does that sound? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. That's what I like to see. Um, there we go. Right, I think we've got it. Uh, let's just check on my victory options. Can I have all of those off and the game options? I think we're going to have, yeah, faster income rates and faster research. Sound happy for you? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, I'm going to host it. Uh, the game is under Dat Goldo. All right, joining. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Um, boop, boop. Gonna put some AI in. I'm sure you're happy with that. Aren't yep, you? sounds good. Oh, good lord! Look at this flag I have. I, I disapprove of that entirely. Uh, there we are. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do we want to play together or against each other? Um, I don't know. I mean, we could we could always start out as enemies and then see what we want to do. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, <laughs> now the next question is, would you prefer to play as the New Republic or the Empire? I think I might go with the uh, Republic. Okay, right. So, uh, we can already see that the um, there's been some upgrades to the UI here, can't we? When you're choosing your race, um, I can see that they've actually got some uh, New Republic ships down there. And if I just go to doop, next race, there's quite a lot for the Empire now. I think there's... Uh, I was reading the uh, change logs and there's something like 20 new techs that you can unlock. So that's going to be interesting to look at. Yeah. Uh, a lot of UI upgrades for this version. Uh, they took a lot of kind of constructive feedback on board. And they'll be looking at that. There's new planet textures, new star bases. What else have we got? Uh, there's a resupply station added for the New Republic. That'll be good for you. And a couple of new maps. That's what I'm seeing. Right. So I will, I will choose the Imperial Remnant. Which is, of course, balling. And uh, <laughs> there we go. I, I've pressed the tick. Are we ready to? Are we ready to do this thing? I am ready. I'm ready if you are. Oh yeah, I'm always ready, baby. <laughs> Please ensure you have large address aware enabled. That is actually really critical for a lot of mods that are coming out at the moment. Uh, that includes uh, this mod, Soji, uh, Dawn of the Reapers, Star Trek Armada Three. Um, large address aware is your friend. Uh, a lot of us have recently had an update to Sins. Um, as you know, there was a very small patch, wasn't there? Yeah, I think I might not have it un installed. Uh-oh. Yep. Well, <laughs> let's see what happens. Yeah, let's see how we go. Uh, I'm feeling this, I'm feeling this. <laughs> oh, shit. Right, I do not like this skybox, so let's change it. There we are. Right, now instantly we can see that there's a lot of uh, different stuff going on. Uh, Ooh, yeah. in, in the new UI. It's, it looks really good, actually, doesn't it? It does. Zoom out. Oh, look at that. They, if you zoom out as well on the planets, it's got new stuff going on as well. I don't know what any of it oh, means, yeah. but I'm quite excited. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to want to do is go logistic structures, and let's have a couple of civic stations. It's something I always start with. Um, uh... I think my mouse is a bit too sensitive for my liking. Oh. Mm. Now I can already tell that I'm going to have like no money ever. <laughs> Has one of these guys got scouting? 
Oh, we've got some carrots here. Can they scout? No. Okay. What about these guys? Mm. Okay, it doesn't appear that we have any scouts initially. Ooh, that looks nice. What are, no, are it does not. Imperial Command Center. Oh, that builds the Galaxy Gun Constructor. Okay. Where's the threat? So I'm going to build some Moo Scouts. Got a Dreadnought here as well. Which can launch TIE Interceptors, TIE Fighters, or TIE Bombers. I can't get the Interceptors right now, so we're just going to have some fighters. I'm going to get four Scouts and get them out looking. See what's out there. If it's out there, I'll find Easily it. done. Well, we've got the Scimitar Bomber as well, uh, for the, um, us. Nice. And hit. Um. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm, uh, I'm enjoying this so far. It's looking really nice. It is. It's a bit... I'm getting a bit lost in this new UI, though. <laughs> Uh, I'm, a, I'm just about understanding it. Just. Uh, but I think this is actually really nice. It, it is the most unique UI I've seen for Sins. It is indeed. And that's actually a really nice thing. Uh, it's lovely to see that mod teams can do this. Oh wow, there, the Holonet transceivers are absolutely expensive. So let's uh, take a look at our Durasteel and uh, Tabana gas production. Oh, not allowed. Okay. There we go. Hmm... Is that exploring yet or what? No? Oh yes. There we go. What do you need to know? What do we got here? Karak Oops. Cruiser. Still one or two voices that have yet to be done. I just clicked on the Sentinel dropship and that's still got a um, a stock voice, but Yeah, I fact, noticed a couple of stock voices over no here. To lose. But I'm sure that's gonna come with time. Indeed. Really like the look of uh, a lot of their models. They're extremely cleanly done. I mean, they've done extremely well with kind of bump maps and um, oh yeah, loving it. Yeah, they have. Very nice. Um, where are those scouts? Well, no. There you are. Where to now? Go oh, looking for the things. This fleet tender idea is a really cool one as well. I, I really like that. I don't know if I actually want to take that fleet tender with me, but I'm going to regardless. Because I am a lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, let's create the fleet. How do we do that? In this crazy new world. Ping, rename. Okay. Tactics management? Yeah, something like that. Oh, no, that wasn't right. Tactics management. Create fleet. All right, cool. Where to now? An imperial fleet is under attack. Ah, it's blinding. Just zoomed in on it. It does appear that certain I, um, worlds. Oh, let's see where you are. Oh, I can't see you yet, can I? That is because we are enemies. Ah, yes, I remember. <laughs> What are you doing, Muska? Do do not auto attack, you rectum. Oh, nice authentic sounds, beautiful. My scout is getting wrecked, though. Well, no wonder I couldn't find anything. My scouts appear to have auto attack automatically turned on. This might be an issue for you as well. I would check that. Upon us. <laughs> oh dear. What do you need to know? And can I build any cruisers from the outset? No, not yet. So that's something we're going to have to look at in the research as we go along. Xenophobia. Visible threat. Got an MC-80 class star cruiser. Very nice. Let's see what oh, abilities we've one. got. Yep. We've got... How do you feel about the hyperspace uh, effects? I did get blinded by that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> it does appear that a lot of the planets at the moment don't actually have um, fleets defending them, which is interesting. 
I don't know if that's going to be a feature that they keep. I don't know if you're finding that on your end of the galaxy. Um, I've got one world here that's got a couple of Karak cruisers, but the rest seem empty. Hmm. All right. Right, let's make sure that these fuckers aren't auto-attacking because they've been wrecking my day. And off you go, explore. Let's get established garrison so we can colonize. Now, I seem some to remember on the last worlds. playthrough that um, there were significantly more kind of enemy garrisons. Okay. Some beautiful, authentic Star Wars music going on at the moment. Indeed, there is. Ready for battle. Stormtroopers have secured a planet. Magnificent stuff. All right, let's get our fleet together. Good day, Commander. Okay, let's see what we can do. We've yep. got our production platforms. Fantastic. Easily done. And develop planet. There it is. Start upping my infrastructure. We've got a, a nice mountainous planet here. I Beautiful. think we're going to head this way. Towards this volcanic planet. I can see that the Tibana gas constructors uh, have been kind of like created differently. You can see them. Uh, however, it does look like the um, the metal ones. Ready What's it called? What's the metal? Durasteel hasn't been done yet. That's still a stock thing. Plotting jump coordinates. So how do you feel about the Filthy Rebels at this point? Link active. So far so good, from what I've seen. A new Ooh. facility is complete. Plotting jump coordinates. Why are you not jumping together? like there is a Carrick cruiser causing some trouble here, so we'll rectify that. And we'll go in with our TIE Bombers. Which are really nicely done. They're nice TIE Bombers. Nice! Here we go, we're moving in. There go the Proton Bombs. Fleet is on its way into Rex and Face. You don't stand a chance, rebel scum. I recognize that these poor guys might not be rebe rebellion, but. <laughs> They're not my buddies. How's your planet coming along now? Slowly. I've currently only expanded out to one more planet, just taking out the active. fleet that's in orbit. Nice. Uh, How do you feel about the research as well? Uh, they've changed a lot of this to kind of like give it a little bit more coloration and things, so you understand better what you're researching. Uh, you can see that any ships that you're going to get, or and or military stuff, uh, it's actually got this red sheen to it, which I really quite like. Ah, oh, yes. Magnificent. Right. right, can we build trade facilities yet? That's something that I, I need to let's look at. Get some let's get some improved lasers. Good day, Commander. Lasers? And we have secured planet Ryun. You've secured Ryu. I think so. Let's. Oh. Right now that we can do that, hopefully we're going to have enough resources soon. I really like the placement of the resource bar as well. It's much better than the, the stock game. Yeah, it is. You've got you've got so much to kind of like uh, visually play with now, haven't you? Um, I'd like to see them trying to do something with the Empire Tree sitting on the left at the moment, um, 
perhaps. Yeah. I don't know how you'd feel about that, but I feel like it jars with the rest of it now because the, the rest of the UI is so clean. That drop-down Empire bar, it just yeah. it seems a little out of place. It does. Alright, let's see what other vessels we can construct. The Rebellion is not allowed stuff, you know this. <laughs> let's get a couple of Corellian Corvettes. Okay, I haven't found any enemies quite yet. B. It does appear the colour... Oh, yeah, I have found somebody. I found the third fleet. And it appears that they're rebels. Rebel scum. You notice the little, the little diamonds above each planet as you zoom out? They actually designate what type of planet it is? Yeah, I noticed that. Got a mountainous planet here. An arboreal... Volcanic. Yeah, and you can you can do it quickly by colour as well, can't you? Which is kind yeah. of Yeah. Uh I'd probably need a key for that because I have no memory, but Yeah. Oh, there's the copyright strike right there. Da 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 I've got, I've got to be loud now. <laughs> <laughs> Cover all the music quick. <laughs> quickly. Nothing to hear here. <laughs> Turn everything down. My fleet is not getting bigger quickly enough. Uh, let us build. Oh, I, can't, I can't even get an acclimate yet. It's just no good. Uh, we've got the possibility of trade centers now, so I think that's going to be my first focus. My fleet is now moving out to Bespin. Going to try and Bespin. capture Bespin. That belongs to the Empire. We shall see who gets there first. <laughs> I'm quite sure you'll get that first. Yeah, most probably. Um, what am I looking for? Trade port. One thing I don't like about the new UI, uh, and I'm not sure how you feel about this, is it's difficult to tell where your fleets are because there isn't that sidebar anymore. Yeah. I, I agree with that. It is a bit... Hard to distinguish yeah, so, whether fleet's there or not. Yeah, so kind of something with a sidebar, perhaps a bar underneath that designates your stuff, would be useful. Yeah. So there's some constructive criticism there. Maybe it's just because we're spoiled, we're so very used to that. Yeah. Alright, let's see what we're doing here. We are building some military research stations now, I think, is, is going to be necessary. Good day, Commander. Kill all the things. Okay, so we've got several military research installations now. That's fine. Ooh. Mechanopolis. What are them? You know? <laughs> Mechis. I like that. Might help if I actually built some resource extractors. Okay, fleet. Uh, what's next? I want you to go there, uh, and then we'll go there, and then we're going to come back around here, because uh, these guys are expanding and I don't like that. Fire all the lasers. Oh, the Vindicator. Mm, so many things. I need them all. <laughs> There's no time to lose. Alright, how's the fleet construction going? Looks like our Corellian Where corvettes are complete. Friend? Oh, that's not a Corellian corvette. Yours to command. Very nice. I don't think I found... I still haven't found you at this point. Admiral Akbar? Oh, oh, no. It's Maybe a trap. sandwiched between many enemies. <laughs> the enemies of the Empire are many. We shall have them. If you uh, know what I mean. <laughs> um, let's see. Where 
We're actually, um, in, a, in a video I did the other day, we were discussing Tarkin's relationship with Vader. Uh, it was like, uh, you know, um, a master with a spray bottle when Vader was choking that guy. Like, no, <laughs> you don't do that. <laughs> Put him down, Vader. Okay. Do you know what? I think I've been unfair. Uh, when there is a free fleet pleasant present in a gravity well, if you, you see the little, uh, there's a bottom bar and a sidebar, and it fills up dependent on how much stuff there is, you can actually select your stuff. Um. Like, when you zoom out to the map, you'll see there is yep. something on, uh, like a ball on the right, ball on the bottom, ball on the left. Um, the ball on the bottom, you can select your buildings. The ball on the left, you can select your fleet. If there's an enemy fleet, it's going to be in the ball on the right. That's actually really good. Ah, yes. I just oh, didn't realise yeah. it. That's oh, really yes, cool. Oh, yes, I do see that. I don't know. I like that. Yeah, these are really, really good UI changes. Really good. Right, I wanted to build some stuff, didn't I? I wanted a Vindicator. Maybe a Strike Cruiser as well. They, they sound like fun. <laughs> they sound like guys to take to a party, <laughs> right? <laughs> An Imperial fleet is under attack. I cannot allow this. Well, I keep forgetting to put down another research station. I keep coming over here to do it and I just... Oh no, I did... No. Yeah, no, that's yes, what I wanted. Maybe. With an owl. <laughs> I put down the wrong research structure. There. I'll find it. Well, who's this? And another dead Carrick. It appears that Admiral Akbar has discovered me as well. <gasps> it's a trap. So you're gonna be the other side. Okay, that's cool. Alright, let's go to Gorman. God damn it, Gorman! Name the name the film. Um. <laughs> oh, you can do this. I believe in you. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I can see it. It's on the tip of my tongue. Ah. Oh. I have no idea. Aliens. Ah, yes. Gorman is their betrayer. Yes. Okay. Seems that things are going well at the moment for us. Oh, home fleet is interested in... It wants me to kill some third fleet. Hmm. Fascinating. Well, third fleet uh, does appear to be right on my borders, and they've expanded extremely quickly, so... Uh, we'll look into that just as soon as we've taken uh, Planet Gorman. What was this planet called? Yep. Theferia? Thefera? Tifera? Oh, fuck knows. <laughs> oh, not PC. I apologise, ladies and gentlemen. When you're a Cardassian, you can't help but swear. <laughs> the very possibility of Bajorans just makes my language foul. Right, I think now that we've actually got a, um, a relatively decent uh, amount of planets each, hopefully, I, I hope you have as well. Um, yeah, a couple. <laughs> right, should we, uh, should we call this episode the end, um, and we will come back to you in the next episode. Sounds good. Lovely. Well, thank you very much for joining me. Um, and uh, please do like and subscribe to both of us. I will be linking um, Osnaminator's video in the description below. So watch his as well. See it from the rebe Rebellion point of view. It's all going to be awesome. This is Goldacat and Osnaminator. Out!